Hi YouTube and a happy new year to you all. Um, thought we'd do another shed update, I haven't done one for a little while. Um, quite a bit's happened since I've been doing videos, I've been busy doing, uh, starting to learn to drive, I've been doing my theory and stuff on the computer and everything. So I haven't been doing a lot down in my workshop. Um, you might notice from, I'm stood in the doorway of my shed. Um, where my lister and everything along the back was normally my workbench. Um, my 12 foot long workbench I have took out for the time being. I've put that in uh, my Gonard's other shed for the time being. Um, I'm getting ready to um, put a stanchion on the back. Uh, I had to organise all the mess in here before I can start building an extension. So to start off really I've cleared off all the workbench up along the back is all gone. Um, all the stuff on the back wall has been taken off. Um, everything from my workbenches have been chucked in these storage racks for the time being. Um, they absolutely chuck a block. Also, most of my tools have gone out in my gunner's garage. Uh, the plan is here. Um, I'm stood right in the corner of my shed at the minute. When we first built the shed, it was uh, 10 foot by 7 foot. Um, last year we made it uh, now well the new extension made it now is 12 foot by 10 foot but the new extension going on the back is going to be 5 foot by 12 foot so in total the shed will be 12 foot by 15 foot um, it'd be the size uh, the plan is all this back wall is going to stay all the partition framework all the ship lap is going to be moved out onto the new extension going up the back in the corner there'll be a doorway here um, it'll step down one step into the back area because obviously the roof slopes down towards its back end um, so it, my head touches the ceiling down here now so once I get down there if I step down about a foot I've got my head height back up above me again um, so basically then I'm going to plywood this back wall up them, either from floor to ceiling or I might just do halfway. The, that back bit is going to be all my workshop there. I'm going to put my 12 foot long workbench in there. Um, I've got my pillar drill where I can set up now. I bought a lathe this week. It's a sort of a model worker's lathe. Just to play around with a bit really. So I've got to go and pick that up from my friend. Once I've done the extension, it ain't that big. And I don't know how good it is to we play around with it. Um, basically this workshop here now will be for storage for all my engines. At the moment it looks a bit crammed up but once the extension's on all this stuff on this side will be gone out into the extension so I'll have all this wall back. Um, everything I've got now for engines and pumps are all kept in one place which I've got fed up of them being bits here, bits there and everywhere. Um, everything's here except from one or two water pumps. I've got a green and castle water pump that's at home and my Leo pump like that one I've got a grey one. Um, that's at home we'll see it in a minute. Um, all my hit misses are going to keep along this side and all my um, enclosed cranks are all going to be along this side and the pumps will go in wherever they fit. Now being this will be my actual workshop for playing around with engines. Obviously when the stuff behind me is gone engines can be moved around a bit more better and I'll have my middle of my floor back for any restorations or anything everything's all kept in one place in the minute right in front of us is my quite recent engine I bought one and a half horsepower Hercules hit and miss uh, when my mate bought it, well it had a nice trolley in it but it had the ends like this but the front ends have been a bit butchered off so I don't really like that so time you mess around making the other ends look neat just cheaper and quicker than make a new trolley um, I will show you that in another video, I haven't got time now, it's getting a bit dark. It's had a, I've built the trolley and varnished it and stained it and that, so i just got to assemble the axles and wheels on it. So that's why the engine is a bit abandoned in the middle of the workshop at the minute. Um, it would make the engine look hell of a lot better when it's done. I would start it up for you, but I put my back out the other afternoon. And I ain't that brilliant at the minute on my back, so bending over and stuff and picking up things is a bit of an awkward thing. Um, I think I've probably done that by moving all these engines around because it's so 
many and they'll pack them so tight and you're trying to move one and move this one an inch and then lift that one over and yeah it's a bit manic because it was chucking down the rain like the proper English weather always do there's rains all the time um, you might notice it is Christmas as well the decorations are up you've got to have decorations in the workshop you go indoors and it's all festive and decorated everywhere and if you're in the workshop you just feel a bit left out so you might as well enjoy it also this week I've fitted an um, alarm on my shed, it's up in the top corner, if it works. Basically, it's done by a control, uh, the green light will come on, gives you just over 15 seconds to get out of the workshop. When that green light will go off, it will go. It's gone off now. If I move, you only got 15 seconds to deactivate the alarm or less it will go off. Just like that. It is very loud. <laughs> so we won't set that one off. I mistake I put it up and came in the workshop and I forgot to deactivate it. And you don't think about it, it's 15 seconds. I came in here literally to get a paintbrush, went out. Next thing I thought, what the hell was that noise? And it's obviously that because I left it on. But there's another thing to get used to. Um, still got a frost crack repair to do on this one uh, Climax number one pump. It was an old uh, uh, frost damage crack which someone repaired obviously before I've owned it and it's opened up again. The pump's working absolutely fine. It don't leak much water. I think what's happened being on a timber trolley when you lift it it's twisted it and it's broke the weld which someone's done. But we can get over that. The other pump which I started restoration on is down here. I've nearly done the primer and work on it, but it's been put to one side for a minute. List of D I haven't used for quite a while. It hasn't been started for quite a while either. I think last time I had it run it was back in June. The Wolseley hasn't been to any shows this year. I've still got a little oil leak. Um, it's a bit annoying. It's an oil leak coming from this engine. I've checked because normally they leak out around the seals behind the flywheels or where the um, crank comes at the back. There's no sign of oil coming out of those at all. Not even when it's warm it does not leak. Uh, but it's losing oil, it's always leaving a patch on the workshop floor. I've checked the oil bung and I've even had a look underneath for any hairline cracks and it's not coming from the inspection plate either. And it's not coming where the valves are so it's all around the mag. It's, I can't find where it is coming from. So in the winter when I catched up the other bits and done my extension, I'd hopefully might strip it all down again and have a little look on it. The Manka number 2 pump had not been out at all this year. So I don't know what to do. I want to keep it because my aim is to get a bit bigger engine one day. And I might take that on to a show with that. It does one of these engines but the engine is a bit out of scale to it. Um, International LA, haven't took that out for a show for quite a while. Uh, go quick swing of the anode day and it went away. It's, I like that little engine. A lot of people say, well the Americans say they are a hit and miss engine, the LA and the LB, but over in the UK not a lot of people, if you say a hit and miss you get uh, sort of a funny look at you really, but if they come from America and that's what the Americans say about it, it is technically classified as a hit and miss engine where it holds this exhaust valve and the way the governor's system works on it. So I say I've got four hit and misses, they might be the possibly the five one. Um, little Rustin PB, uh, PB6 I think they are, the little ones are, uh, one and a half horsepower to two and a half horsepower this one is. Um, yeah that one's absolutely good as gold, I was going to paint it but I don't think it needs painting for the time being. I've got plenty of jobs to do on the engine, so that one's at the end of the minute. This is 1931. I've recently just bought this one back in September. It's got the um, flywheel mag on it. Um, little tangy water pump, open crank pump. Um, not many of them are around on the valley fields, and I don't really use mine that much. But I don't want to sell that. I've had quite a few people trying to buy it, but I'm not going to sell that one on. Fuller and Johnson NC, I took that to a uh, sh show in September, uh, ran first day fine, and the sat Sunday it would not run at all. 
Uh, before it's a mag, but the mag got fantastic spark. The plug's set right. It's getting fuel, and it keeps stopping. Checked all the governors' uh, linkages. Like I said, I checked the mag fuel lines, but I obviously want the fuel line because it's getting fuel. Uh, someone I've been talking to on the show has reckoned over the years because it's been running a lot slower than what it meant to be originally set up. It's basically carbon itself up, and it's not running quite right. So at some point. I want to take the head off this engine, but these following Johnson's got a little copper ring gasket, which I've been um, told you cannot get them anywhere. And people have took them off, which I've been speaking to. They've made paper ones that was a proper gasket paper, but being such a sort of high compression engine, it blows the side of the, the gasket out. But lucky enough, there's no water jacket linked in the head so the water from the hopper won't get into the head it's just basically the front of the bore and the gasket ring there's no water coming in past that area so I'm either going to take the head off but someone did say I can either take the um, crank off pull the piston up from the back and give it a clean out with a long brush and petrol now so I might try that first on it um, United that's been fine I haven't ran it for a long time now probably Back in July, I think that's the last time it was ran. I must pull them out one afternoon, give it a bit of a swing over, and start them up. Uh, the Manco uh, that had problems with the Uniter. I don't know if I mentioned that. The Uniter went wrong on it, so it had a new sleeve made up on the Uniter. Uh, made a stronger spring up for these two arrows. And I uh, fitted it on, and the uh, timing wouldn't well it wouldn't start. So I fiddled around adjusting the nitre by doing a nut on the bottom here, and turning the actual nitre. Tried adjusting that, no luck at all. So I set them all back as it was. Went to the mag, and I thought I marked the teeth. Let's try it. So I moved it one teeth over, bolted it down swung hand over and it fired up so it is alright now but again it's been sat in the corner of the shed for probably about three months um, there's a little crank up I meant to be doing, doing this weekend or rumours off so I thought I will take that one and took it out I took it one show beginning of last year so we pulled them out uh, day for yesterday would it start? <laughs> no <laughs> so took the night off, cleaned all that out um, eventually got used to all the settings again and it fired up so it's alright but it was right in that back corner of the shed and all the engines here and it was move one get that one a bit further forward move that one back get that one forward it took nearly an hour just to get that engine out of the corner so it was a bit annoying it didn't start when it first came out but now it's all running got it all running cleaned it all up uh, phone call from my uncle it's such a rally ain't on this weekend okay <laughs> so just leave it there it's got fuel and everything in it so when there is one, I will drag that one out first, and hopefully the Hercules, the Hercules one's got a new trolley. Um, so, I'd say it is a bit of a quick update. Um, just basically just going over what I've done the last few months, where, where I haven't basically done any videos. Just keep you what people have subscribed to me, just let them know I'm still living and I'm still here. Um, still busy. So, from me, to you lot, happy new year and um, join me again in another video. So thank you and good night and cheers and gone.